why we do this is everybody loves good sound, you know, and it's, mm-hmm. while sound can obviously be a very subjective subject, a lot of speakers sound good, you know, and we're not here to like bash one way or the other. That's not our style. You know, we all speakers, you know, sound pretty good for the most part. And then you get your little cheap plastic computer desktop speakers. That's a different level. You know, we're, right. we're making home theater speakers with real cabinets, real MDF. What's actually interesting, a lot of people think that the Varus line has a plastic front baffle, which is not the case, actually. It's textured black paint over the MDF. And right. so if Colin can get a close up here, um, I don't know, <laughs> yeah. it really is wood. I mean, speaking of LA, man, I, that, that was my stomping grounds for about 10 years before uh, actually accepting the job here at Appearing. So, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Very familiar with that area. And, um, I do miss all my friends back there, uh, mm-hmm. but I am definitely, you know, this job opportunity is really hard to pass up. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Are you, um, in charge of marketing? Yeah. Um, I mean, essentially, I guess you can call me the general manager, uh, mm-hmm. but at the same time, you know, me and Colin basically do everything. Yeah. Marketing, uh, you know, as far as um, you know, we reached out to you, get reviews going and stuff from marketing to customer service. Colin handles most of the customer service. Um, and so if you go on the trustpilot.com was a uh, review site that a lot of customers give feedback. So you'll see awesome feedback about Colin all up and down that website. Yeah. As far as shipments and receiving, if we could pick the computer up and bring it around the corner, the warehouse is right there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we we bring in all the trucks, uh, do all the QC, you know, when stuff comes in, Mm -hmm. you know, want to make sure everything's uh, functioning up to par and exceeds actually, you know, we're pretty picky before stuff even goes out the door. Colin can attest to that too. But (laughs) anyways, without like bringing up the whole operational side of everything and set the standard, man. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then, yeah, it's just, you know, in in store demos, when people come in, we're the ones that you're going to talk with. Whenever you call or email us, we're going to be the ones, you know, to respond. Whatever questions you have, we're always going to do our best to answer. And if we don't have a solution, you know, we'll try to come up with a DIY solution. So at least, you know, you can still keep somewhat of a speaker functioning if it's a 10 or 15 year old speaker and you're like, well, you know, the cabinet and the driver are good, but you know, my amp went out and it's like, oh, okay, well let's help you out. You know, what can we do? And yeah, as far as troubleshooting, all that stuff, I mean, that all kind of falls under customer service. (laughs) Website design, you know, web design, yeah. All that stuff, you know, that's all us. I mean, the lovely graphics that you see on the website, that's all Dallas's forte. And, you know, like you Mm. said earlier, I'm starting to pick up on the video side. And so it's like kind of just this two man driving force that's just, taking care of business all day long <laughs> it's, wow. crazy. it's a lot but it's a lot of fun too you know it's it's really yeah. rewarding to obviously just you've seen the products you know selling that stuff and making people happy with it it's like seeing a room full of Varus that you helped set up and kind of plan and all of that stuff it's yeah. like whoa <laughs> yeah no kidding helping customers build their room from start to finish i mean you know imagine like what you see behind us if it was just um, you know, just the two by fours that were holding the structure. I mean, people literally send us, Hey, I'm going to put a theater in this room. What do you recommend? And you know, where should I put the speakers? And so we'll go through and kind of do a quick, you know, Photoshop slash, uh, I actually was better at paint first. So I used to paint (laughs) our speakers in and just kind of like send a picture back to the customer so you can get a good visual for, Hey, when your room's done, this is what you might expect that it's going to look like. And yeah you know, just kind of setting an expectation for the customer and letting them know your stuff's going to work and it's going to sound great in this room. Um, When it comes to room setup, one of the bigger things that people kind of get a little lost with is acoustics um, Mm -hmm. and more of the tech specy stuff that they don't understand. Vaulted ceilings, those just soak up all of the bass response. So you don't really want to go with an eight inch sub at that point. You want to go with the big 12 inch or something like that. Um, But anyways, we help from start to finish. And then even after, I don't know if you've looked at our warranty, but you know, we've got up to a 10 year warranty on some stuff. So it's like, we want to help you guys and we want to help our customers be happy and just have good faith in our product because I like it and I've used it for ever since I found appearance six years ago. Yeah, like Dallas said, seeing 
a project go from the studs <laughs> holding my microphone for mic. me <laughs> <laughs> but taking a project going from like you said you know the studs to a completely finished like wife just hung the paintings here's a picture of the finished product kind of thing like you said too with the vaulted ceilings and dolby atmos i mean you're getting to know our a5 speakers and so mm -hmm. When we launched those, we had 10 emails a day of like, hey, can I put these A5s in this room? And you know, the ceiling goes up 30 feet. And it's like, well, <laughs> you can't do this, but here's two <laughs> other solutions to consider. You know? and, and so it's like, right. yeah, it's it's just a different, more personalized form of customer service and sales here, you know, versus the big box stores where it's like, well, go pick your stuff and well, I don't know, you should probably buy the more expensive ones instead of that one. I mean, if yeah. you're gonna do it, no right. pushiness here, which is cool. <laughs> yeah, definitely trying to upsell you when it's possibly not even necessary. So not yeah, necessary. I, I yeah. totally get that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How many engineers, I mean, obviously you're the team that handles, you know, the, the management and the marketing yeah. and customer service, but uh, how big is the team as a whole? Like even the engineers and everyone. Essentially me and Colin uh, represent the US side of Aperion. We have one dealer, Hi-Fi Pilot for uh, Germany and Europe, and uh, currently working with somebody that uh, potentially we should be in Canada soon. We've got another in uh, Korea. Yep, Elite Electronics uh, out in Australia. And so our main production facility is in Shenzhen in uh, China mm -hmm. and so you know that's where a lot of that's where all the like manufacturing all that stuff happens um, as far as collaboration the team uh, I'm not sure the exact number of people that work at our factory over there but we do own it the collaboration is very awesome and unique uh, this is an experience that i mean you know us coming from regular retail where you know guitar center is kind of like here's the stuff that you can sell and we say okay we're drummers we're into it we can figure it out you know and then yeah. but when it comes time to this type of stuff this is like home theater equipment this goes into people's homes so the design is very important for the product that we sell. The entire team understands that. And that's why this is a really cool and unique working partnership that we've got going. The early Aperion days started, um, you know, local in Lake Oswego around the Portland area. Ken Humphreys was the original engineer, you know, worked with Aperion for, I don't know, the better part of 10 years up through about 2010. Then we had another engineer named Oliver. Uh, he worked with us for a number of years. From there, the entire realm of Aperion just changed. And, you know, where now it's me and Colin are doing a lot of front facing side for everything Aperion related. And so this is a cool opportunity because nobody's really taken the helm on that before either you know when i started with the company i was new so i'm low on the totem pole what can i do at that point point? and so here we are now and it's like everything's kind of on this uprise you know we're building a lot of new relationships you included you know and mm -hmm. this is just a cool time for growth for Aperion and to be involved because sure we've had our intimus line for the past 20 years you see a lot of the traditional style speakers that are you know the rectangle box Box, that type of thing. Aperion's decided to kind of move <clears throat> to more of a unique speaker design. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, we went from Intimus to our Varus line, which came out about 2009. And then from there, our Varus line and our Intimus line were kind of our key players. Starting about 2018, we wanted to do a rendition of the Intimus line, improve the specs, maybe change the look a little bit. And, you know, what ended up supposed to have been a revisement of the Intimus line just spawned out to be this entire new speaker family of the Novus line. Uh, that's where you get that three-way design with the center channel, the array that we've got going on, the front port idea that came from our original 5T and 6T design. Uh, we wanted to go a little bit different and more unique looking with the slot port uh, mm -hmm. as opposed to just a regular tube. Here we are now and we've, you know, released three types of super tweeters, which is the most unique thing that I think anybody in the audio industry in the US has seen in probably the past 10 years. From there, I mean, we've got more product line on the way, more specifically like a cinema line. Uh, so much bigger drivers and horn loaded tweeters. Um, wow. Yeah, uh, we've got electronics coming. So we've got a two channel and a seven channel amp in the works, uh, hoping to see that later this year. 
And then beyond that, I mean, you know, there's another subwoofer line coming. There's things happening. And this is a really yeah. awesome time to be involved with Aperion. Horn loaded. Wow. That's like Klipsch territory right there. <laughs> yeah. That's the same reaction. They're like, oh, <laughs> that's what you're doing next. <laughs> I mean, obviously I've been impressed with the Novus line, but yeah, that is very intriguing to know you're yeah, doing yeah. specific cinema lines in the near future. That's awesome. <laughs> we're, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, we <laughs> haven't even heard any of it yet, but our whole team on the other side and at our production facility is very excited about all of this new stuff. And wow. you can tell that translates to me. And obviously we're the ones talking at the moment, but if you were to hear Colin on the phone, you know, with customers, I mean, <laughs> cheese out a little bit. We, we cheese out a lot of bit. <laughs> <laughs> but that makes it fun. You know, it's like we're not like trying to hide anything or be this secretive company or anything like that. You know, we're mm -hmm. just as down to earth, you know, with customers as we are with you right now. I think a lot of people can tell that too when they call in and, you know, start discovering about Aperion and, you know, they're looking at this, looking at that. They make a local trip to their, you know, local big box electronic store and find a very fr frustrating experience waiting for them there. And then, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, okay, start looking at stuff, 10 year warranty. Holy cow, they must really like their products or something, you know? And <laughs> we stand behind it. Same with the lifetime tech support. You know, if you, I've got plenty of customers that yeah. tower speakers or subs from 15 years years ago they're like yeah so what do i set my crossover at i got a new receiver and it's like well let's take 10 minutes and go through it you know the innovations and the things that Aperion does it's a really really cool time right now and so i take it you are a direct to consumer company correct like you don't yeah. have any brick and mortars anywhere nice just this one here well i mean we got the the various dealers that dallas was mentioning earlier but sure you know that's more <laughs> making the delivery time and delivery methods easier for international customers you know right. it's not like a you know segregated kind of thing it's like yeah it's always been direct to consumer and you know something like that if we can fulfill it from our production facility and it's cheaper that way or if it's cheaper from the dealer it's like we're working for the customer and yeah we'd love to have you know other showrooms and that sort of thing i mean heck we at this point we about have a couple of customers that are like yeah send people over they can come <laughs> listen to my house i got the whole system <laughs> done up you know and eventually we'll We'll probably have something like that going across the states but yeah our parents always been internet direct to consumer i mean mm -hmm. you know we're real pioneering with that with the internet and um well that's great and that's good news i'm i am looking forward to the future as well <laughs> yeah man